Might be hard to believe now that it's 2023, but some parts of Colorado are still struggling to get access to broadband internet. The FCC released this map showing where broadband internet is throughout the state right now, but the agency needs your help to make it more accurate. It's asking Coloradans, especially those in the remote and rural areas, to check to see if the information for their address matches their service. Dylan Thomas on the story tonight in Larimer County, one of several counties in northern Colorado with this lingering problem. Dylan, we know broadband service would really be a game changer for many, especially the businesses. You know, Jim, a lot of us in the Front Range take access to reliable internet for granted. We use it for education, entertainment, telehealth, even business at many times. But the same can't be said for many of our neighbors in rural parts of Colorado, which is why the state is now asking for everybody to participate in that map you were just talking about in order to help decide where hundreds of millions of dollars will be allocated. In the foothills of Larimer County, half an hour northwest of Fort Collins, it's really, really poor quality. Just check a few things here. Access to reliable internet is never guaranteed for residents like Michael Royals. It's not about the number of providers, it's about the lack of bandwidth. He and many of his neighbors are among the thousands of Coloradans seeking funding to get access to what many in the cities take for granted. Broadband would be a game changer. Yes, there are ways to connect to the internet in rural Colorado, but the speeds can be so slow that modern technologies like video meetings can be unusable. I've done project work in 50 different countries, and I can say that I can rely on cellular and broadband in Gambia, West Africa, better than I can in LaPorte, Colorado. Which is why Governor Polis is asking rural Coloradans to visit this online map and update whether or not their address has access. By doing so, Colorado could receive more than $800 million in funding to expand broadband into rural communities. The state is already in the process of using some federal funds to install broadband, but residents like Royals say there are still plenty of communities still in need of this modern necessity. It will become, if it's not already, fundamental to living anywhere, whether it's rural or urban. The time is right, basically, to spread the wealth. Now, the deadline to update your property status on the website is actually this Friday, but the irony to all of this is that in order to update your property status on whether or not you have internet, you have to use the internet, which is kind of a catch-22 there. We have provided a link on CBS Denver, or cbscolorado.com on how you can do just that. They said maybe go to your local library and fill that information out. Reporting live tonight, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.